Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the Instant Structures plugin. Now this is an absolutely fantastic plugin which allows you to, as the name would suggest, create any structure you want immediately. So the way this plugin works is you open up a GUI and you have all of your different schematics in there. So you can create schematics from WorldEdit or you can download them from the internet. And what you can do, you can pay a set amount, say $1,000, and you can get one of these wands. And what you need to do is literally just click it anywhere and the item will spawn. And the cool thing is, if you don't want it there anymore, you can click again and it will disappear. So first of all, we're going to have a showcase of this and then create something of our own. So first of all, we have a few different schematics that I've made. Um, there's diamond, there's tree, bus, house, and uh, obviously the world edit axe. So first of all, let's click the diamond one. So left click, and as you can see, it has spawned in front of us. It's just a simple structure. It's a few diamond blocks that I created. And if we don't want it anymore, give it another click and it will disappear. And you can see in chat that it will say your structure has been created or removed from the world. So let's have a look at the other one. So if I click on the ground with the tree, you will see a tree spawning in the midair. Um, so be aware of where it will spawn relative to your position. So if you don't want it there, obviously go back a bit, click somewhere else, and there we go. So it's still hovering, but it's a bit closer to land now. Next, if we go to the house schematic, for example, and just click it somewhere, you will see that it has spawned a bit underground. So you just have to play around with it, get used to how it works, and then you can place things in the correct way. Obviously, this depends on where you copy it from WorldEdit. So as you can see, this is a Fortnite bus. This is the one from the Battle Royale video I did quite a while back that got quite a few views. Um, and that is pretty much how it works. So if we want to grab one of these ones, we do forward slash structure, that will show us all of the help commands, and then structure menu will show us the GUI with all of the different structures in. And it will have a list of them and it gives their price, so $1,000 is the default, and it tells you which one it will give you. So you can obviously grab as many as you want and get rid of as many as you want. Uh, it's a really cool plugin, and if we click up here, we can actually have the Fortnite bus midair, and that looks really awesome. So that is how you use the plugin. It's pretty straightforward, but it's really cool. Uh, let's create a really simple world edit structure and show you how it can work. So I've just grabbed two random blocks, so yellow and blue. We are going to create a really boring structure of different colors just to uh, show you how it works. And what we're gonna do, we are going to select all of it. So the top corner and the bottom corner, we're going to stand in front of it and do forward slash forward slash copy. Once we've done this, we can do forward slash forward slash schematic save and then colors, and that will save it to our world edit schematic folder. So using the config, we can either grab it from the world edit folder or another folder. So let's go ahead and look at the config file now to see how we do that. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel, and as you can see, there are a couple of files and one folder. So let's start at the bottom in the messages.yml. And in here, there isn't too much. It has all of the messages that we will see in game. You could change this. You could change the format codes and the colors, but obviously you don't really have to. And it looks nice already. Let's go back and jump into the schematic files. So in here, this will list all of the different schematics that you've uploaded. Um, so you can either use this folder to store your schematics or the world edit one. So here we are in the config.yml and if we have a look we have a little section on cooldown information. So this is in seconds and obviously you can set that to whatever you want. Scroll down a bit more and we have the customization where you can change the folder uh, to which it grabs the schematics from. So do we want to use the folder in this plugin or do we want to use the world edit folder? So whatever's easier really for you. Um, so by default it is on false, so bear that in mind. Then we have all of the information to do with laws, so the wands that we used and the GUI as well. I wouldn't bother messing around with this because it looks really nice already. Um, and we are going to uh, scroll down even more. This has the lag filter which stops your server from being overloaded from too many people spamming it or whatever. So make sure you don't mess around with this or put it too high because that could cause um, issues with your server performance. And then down at the bottom, you can allow it to hook into things like Skyblock and BStats. Finally, at the bottom, we have the information to do with the economy. So you can set it for $1,000 or 10,000, whatever. Uh, don't make it too easy to get, I suppose. So if we go up here and set this to true, 
we will be able to use the um, schematic that we created earlier in game. So let's hop over back into the game and let's spawn it in. So now that we're back in game, we can do forward slash structure menu and see that it's not there currently. So if we do structure reload and then structure menu, you can see there is a sixth option. There it is, colors.schematic. So if we grab it, click, you will see that the weird structure that we made will now be able to spawn in our world. You can also see the cooldown working in chat, so it's a two second cooldown. And what we can do, we can just click around and try and put it wherever we want, really. So that is how this plugin works. It's really fantastic. Um, I've never seen anything quite like it, um, but I think it's really useful. And obviously you can play around with this, put as many different schematics as you like, and you could create a whole city within an hour, basically. So that is the whole plugin. If you want to download it, make sure you go to the Spigot page and hit the download button. If you want a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. And that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.